Alright, see what we got here right now. Well, hello there. Welcome to my welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm here um, helping people learn different languages using a, a really good application on my smartphone. Uh, this one is called uh, iPhone, and the application is called uh, Duolingo. Right, so in this in this video. Um, I'm going to demonstrate to y'all that you can all learn the easy language of the Spanish. The easy, very much, very much easy language to learn Spanish. Um, it, anyone can learn the Spanish. You know, you, if you're white, if you're if you're Republican, you know, anyone can learn Spanish. Any of those people. So let's get right into it. Okay. So as you can see, I've already progressed through my uh, understanding of the Spanish language. You know, I got myself the uh, some animals down pat. Uh, I've got my the foods down pat, and my pearls. So I, I'm 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 pretty much flying flying high so far. Um, but I'm gonna show you something that I'm learning about. So I'm just gonna show you an example of you know how you how you how you use this program to learn the, the Spanish language. So I'm gonna click a sizes sizes right there. Sizes is good. It's a good. Very easy. Easy uh, subject to learn, and say so even says that I have no weak words. That just shows how brilliant I am. But then again, this is just for educational purposes to make to let you know how to use this application. So we're gonna click that strengthen strengthen button right there. In case you don't know what that word means, although if you probably don't know what that word means. You might as well get a English Duolingo um, thing. Anyways. As you can see, I clicked that button. Get right into it. Um, actually, just so that I don't lose you guys, I'm gonna just lock my screen so that I don't have to. You know, I can just rotate and I won't like rotate my my, my screen, which kind of pisses me off sometimes. So yeah, we got soy alta. So that means in the Spanish language, um, it means I am tall. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and press them buttons right now. I am tall. And all of a sudden, I got check, and it gives me the the sound that I know that I'm right. So I'm just going to go through a couple of these to show you how it goes. You know what I'm saying? So it gives me the word tall. So I look at tall and go, hmm, is it sabados, or is it sombrero, or is it altos? You know, since I know what it is, I'm going to go click it. Altos. Right. El es right. So it wants me to read that sentence right there for you. So I'm going to go ahead and read it for you. Um, el pescado es grande. Well, I see, of course, I'm a natural, so okay, it's going a bit too fast. I'm gonna, I'm gonna listen to it again and, and understand what you just said right there because I had no idea what you just said right there. Right, okay, I'm got, I got this, I got this. Ready? China el tamano de un huevo, huevo. Okay, that if I say it doesn't sound right, maybe maybe it, they're maybe the dialect they're looking for is more like a Mexican Spanish. When I'm going more for like a like a Spain Spanish. Let me try one more time in the Mexican way. Tiene el tamaño de un huevo. Okay, they say it still doesn't sound right. I'm going to try one more time. Tiene El tamano de un huevo. Okay, um, that was embarrassing because they think that I did not pronounce it right. Um, uh, who knows? You know, they're not. They're not some. They're not like the Royal Ac Academy of the Spanish Language or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna let that slide. Not make it personal. So they want me to translate this word. I'm gonna have to translate it. Uh, Ella. Um, tiene uh, vestidos largos. Yeah, I'm gonna try that one. Right there we go. La mujer es bello or beja. Now that's an interesting one. Is it bello or beja? And I'm gonna go with beja because mujer is a woman, right? So that's a feminine. You gotta put in the a instead of the o. 
Right. Now they want me to take the pair, to pair the pair the the words together. So I'm gonna hit and do that. We got tokas, which means tokas. touch, and we got corta, corta, which means short, and then we got enero, enero. which means January. All right. So we got me vestido blank, s azul, e blanco. I'm gonna go with. Uh, uh, mi vestido corto es azul en blanco. Right. All right, so they want me to translate small. So small is a tricky one because you got here, we got pequeño, las, and camino. I'm going to go ahead and press pequeño. Pequeño. Right. And then we got big. They want me to translate big. I'm going to go with grandes. Grandes. Right. See, and now you start doing these exercises, they're like second nature to you, right? You just go boom, 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 I got this, I got this, next one, next one. So I'm going to go ahead and show you, I'm already halfway, as you can see, so I'm going to just go ahead and go through them like, like very fast, as fast as I can, because, you know, that's how I roll. So we've got quanto, which means uh, how much, then we got alto, which means tall, and then we got comida, which means food. Oh, yeah. And altus is tall. Then we have uh, segundo, which is second. Pequenos, which is small. Diciembre, which is December. And then we got to translate tianas, gatas, pequenas. So that's do you have small cats? No, not cars. Right, and then we got, okay, las, je, las lavas no son grandes. Oh, sorry, now, I, oh, my bad, I was, I was supposed to record that, and it wasn't recording until now, and now it's just recording me speaking in English, which, of course, they're going to say it doesn't sound right, so I'm going to record that again. Los lavas no son grandes. There we go. There we go. Soy baja. Soy beja. I am short. Not me in person, but like, you know, you know, oh, that's amazing. Um, but it is short. We got to do pero es bejo. Pero es corta or bejo, whichever one you want to use. Sí. Tengo un perro pequeño. Si, tengo un perro pequeño. Ella tiene vestidos largos. Elja, ella tiene vestidos largos. She has large long dresses. That's the one we're looking for. And there you go. Once you're finished, it gives you like a like a like a progress chart. Oh, that's mirrors. Don't don't pay attention to them red days. That was the days that I was slacking. But hey, nobody's perfecto. Another Spanish word. Say I'm learning so much. And there you go. I'm a, I'm a gold standard now for them from them sizes of the Spanish language. And then. That's basically it. That's so. That's how you learn. That's how you learn Spanish, folks. You just keep on doing the exercises, and before sooner or later, you learn the the Spanish language, and you you become a natural. So anyone can do it. That's about it.